New tonight, an update on a health alert we've been reporting on for months now. Researchers trying to figure out what's causing a thyroid cancer cluster in Mooresville. Local schools are investigating too. The Iredell Statesville School District sent a letter to parents saying they've tested the water at all 36 campuses and those results are in. The news comes a month after our Defenders investigation into unusually high numbers of thyroid cancer in Iredell County. NBC Charlotte's Brianna Harper joins us from Mooresville with the new information. The results are in and water testing completed at dozens of Iredell Statesville schools just like this one show the water results are in normal range. Now scientists are turning their attention to the soil to see if they'll get similar safe results. For years, the concern has continued. There's a cancer cluster around Mooresville. There's just some issues with the water. Issues some believe may be linked to an alarming trend thyroid cancer. I asked our doctor, is this normal that there's three thyroids cut out on my street? And she said that doesn't sound right. Statistics show that on average, there are about 11 cancer cases per 100,000 people statewide, a number that nearly doubles to more than 21 cases per 100,000 people in just Iredell County alone. It's data like this that's even catching the attention of state senators. This is very, very close to me. I have two daughters, um, and so this is something that has uh, sparred and makes me continue to ask these hard questions. Hard questions that have led to scientific testing of water samples at all 36 campuses as part of Iredell Statesville schools. The results all came back within normal range, including radon testing, too. Some link these mini cancer cases to the coal ash found at Duke Energy's Marshall Steam Station. The state has looked at decades worth of national and international research, and the good news is they found there was no known connection between thyroid cancer and coal ash. Yet still many are wondering what is to blame. For now, that answer still isn't clear. The Iredell Health Department expects the results from that soil testing to be complete by the end of February. Reporting in Morrisville, Brianna Harper, NBC, Charlotte.